Well, this is part three of my golden arrow restoration project. Well, I've got the nice bumper on. I've got got my rear suspension on. I've got my electronics mounted. I dremeled a little bit of plastic behind the speed control just so it would fit down a little lower. It turned out pretty well. Mounted my uh, high tech AM receiver. I've got my Mighty Mini just sitting in there. Got my front suspension shaft. My custom one all done up. So, I don't have my uh, ball links hooked up. Oh, none of my steering's hooked up yet. Just, and these are the front wheels. I put arrows on them. I got a cool effect. Well, there's my uh, remote controller, my transmitter. I'll go ahead and turn it on. All right, all ready to do it. Now the antenna is not uh, in the antenna pipe, so it fidgets very slightly sometimes. I don't have my antenna fully extended anyway, so. But, let's see how she does. bad. I'll turn around the front. Get a shot of the servo working. There, I'm going a little slow. Nice digital proportional steering. So, I'm just going to do some loose ends. Uh, I'm, I'm going to install the ball links onto the knuckle arms. Um, and then I'll measure and see what length uh, titanium turnbuckles I'm going to need. I'll have to order those. But after I'm done with that, this will be all done. But just a little recap, um, it does have Tamiya Frog uh, wheel adapters. Um, I'll go ahead and run the the motor one more time here. That was reverse. It's probably got like anywhere from 50 to 75 percent power in reverse. Um, but it seems torquey. So. There's that golden arrow chassis pretty much uh, complete. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the switch. Take my prop box away. Underside shot. Right now I'm testing it with the Venom 3300 uh, nickel metal hydride uh, pack. But I've always wanted to restore one of these and now here I am. So hex screw for a front suspension shaft. Just like the rear uh, suspension shaft, it's only threaded on the very end. The rest of it's solid stock. Alright. Yeah, I want to do it right. I'm not going to put steel uh, turnbuckles. I could make some. I've got some rod, but I'm just going to go ahead and get titanium just to do it upright. Um, this high tech mighty mighty mini servo it's the regular version plastic gear servo um, I'm going to try it um, I know it's it fits and everything you have to have approximately an eight millimeter spacer or some type on top and then you could use the original clamp um, I've made one out of uh, cardboard like just to fit it up just to see but what I'm gonna I believe what I'm going to do is probably use like an eraser um, and just sand it down to eight millimeters and then cut it to size and that should be pretty good because it it fits really well in here you do have to dremel off the uh, mounting brackets well, at least the bottom one, unless you did something else custom to hook to the top. But I was kind of worried about the clearance for the uh, body, but it's not even an issue. So, all right. Just for fun, I'm going to turn it back on. Pull out my antenna. Yeah, when I pull out my antenna, it stops, uh, stops fidgeting, pretty much. It's not extended, so it's a little... Well, what I'll do is, I turn the switch off again. I'll just go ahead and, uh, pull out my steering servo connector all right let's have a little fun here on the desk <laughs> went right off the desk had its first little jump <laughs> That's what you get when you're anxious. But, um, yeah, this motor's got a fair amount of torque. So, one thing though, these rear springs, these are from the front of a Radio Shack Black Phantom. They're uh, significantly softer, but still, they're, they're a little stiff. But, they're they're softer than the uh, original sets, and they're the same length. Um, I would like to try to get a little bit softer front springs. These are very hard, as anyone with a golden arrow knows. So, alrighty. Um, That was a uh, request here to run it a little bit. <laughs> so
so I did. Um, and it flew off the off the desk. But um, yeah, I'm getting very anxious to com complete this project. Um, I'll have to install the ball links and then do the measuring. Then I will know the length of the turnbuckles, what they need to be. And as always, uh, when I complete this, I will have um, all the list of the parts I used. And I'll also do a test run. But I think the wheel scheme has turned out pretty well. Um, you can get the set of matching wheels for the rear Tamiya wheels, but I put these HPI rear wheels on because um, they're very strong. They're a little bit stronger than the Tamiya wheels. I wanted some strong wheels to handle uh, this Trinity Epic motor. So, so not too bad. All right, um, that's part three, and uh, any questions, comments, uh, please feel free to leave them. Any suggestions uh, are welcome. Um, thanks for watching.